All right, Martavius. I've waited. I've been busy with schoolwork and stuff like that. I haven't had the time to talk about you, sir. But it's time I talk to you. Ha, funny as shit. I fit for the tab, suck on the ticks. Go back to the pad, watch this slap on the flicks. Uh. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Uh, just in the track, then I beat it. Uh, acne my jacket from Sweden. Uh, my chick don't exactly know English. Uh, what is up, you guys? Sky's the limit here. Back with another video. Back with another car video. I actually just um, got done playing basketball. I got some footage with another video for that coming soon for you guys. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you guys are ready for that shit. Um, uh, someone got embarrassed. I'm not going to say who, but someone did get embarrassed. But um, today I want to talk about Martavis Bryant. I haven't had time to talk about Martavis Bryant. Like I said, in the beginning, I've been busy with schoolwork and stuff like that and doing other videos, stuff like that. But it's time I talk about this man because he's really pissing me off to the point to where I almost say go ahead and just trade him at this point but i understand that the steelers really need him and I under that's the reason why i think that mike tomlin put him down to the scout team and it's just not gonna be black what i think mike tomlin is trying to do is to light a fire under this man in order for him whenever he comes back no there's gonna be no excuses for him not to come back and and be big time when he comes back because he's gonna have a, a fire lit under him at this point he's been bent they're not playing him he's gonna feel some type of way about that he's not on the field so he's gotta work for it he's gotta work for it he's come out and said he's gonna work for it i expect him to work for it. I'm tired of this bullshit where you request and trade when you l literally were gone for a whole year for a suspension for weed. Now, I don't know if, I don't know if they proved or not that you did weed, but I know for a fact. I'm not gonna blame Snoop Dogg, but I know this man was hanging around him a lot. I know this man was hanging around him a lot, and it could be influenced to probably smoke weed with him. I don't know. I'm not blaming Snoop Dogg at all, but he, I've seen him around Snoop Dogg a lot on, on either on his Instagram story and some stuff like that. He was on a show one time. We all know how about, how, about Snoop Dogg. How sweet dog is. I'm not blaming him. Like I said, I'm not blaming him, but I feel like he's been around weed a little bit too much. I'm sure he's been around. I'm sure he probably, I mean, most people have been around weed before they even got even into the NFL. Let's not act like a lot of these NFL players haven't smoked weed before. Let's not, let's not be naive. But you're in the NFL now. You're getting paid money. You're getting paid money, sir. And for you to come out and say, oh, I'm not getting the ball. You have a point. I understand. You're not getting the ball. I understand that. I understand that part. But you have to understand that Antonio Brown's getting open this year. He's getting open. Ben's not having the best year, so he got to go to the person he trusts the most, which is Antonio Brown. And Juju Smith-Schuster, don't get mad at him. He's just getting open. I feel like you're just not really getting open the way you should all the time. Sometimes maybe Ben misses you on a route or two. He's missed Antonio on routes. Remember they had that big, huge thing with Antonio Brown whenever he got had a huge tantrum on the sideline. He didn't get the ball. So my issue is with you is that don't, 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 don't come out in public and say this. Don't come out. Not necessarily in public, but on social media and say this and say all this stuff. And have your wife come out on Twitter and say stuff. I mean, it's not a good look for you, man. Because now at this point, what are we honestly going to be able to get for you in a trade? Because you're probably most likely going to trade you in the offseason. Most likely. Most likely. But I mean, unless you prove to us that you want to stay in Pittsburgh, unless you prove to us that, then there's no point of us keeping you. But I agree with, I, I, do, I do agree with Mike Tom decision to just go ahead and sit him down try to light a fire under him so when if he comes back because we need we still need Martavis Bryant just because he's going on this rant we still need him we still need him as a player because he brings a lot he's 6-4 got runs a 4-4 I mean he can fly down the field and go up and catch the ball we need him just he hasn't gotten the ball yet but I mean I'm sure that at some point you know you're going to get all you're going to get the ball Martavis you just got to be patient and not be so selfish and Tony Brown's playing like the best receiver in the game right now he like he really is some people are still going to say Julio Jones, but right now, you got me a choice right now, even just because I'm a Steelers fan, but he's, Antonio Brown's playing the best receiver in the game. He's leading the league in receiving yards and receptions this year. And it's not not even close. It's not even close, especially in yards. It's not even close. So you just gotta chill out, cool out. Like seriously, I'm, like like this is this is legit. The Steelers, you had to go win a Super Bowl championship, and you're just bringing distractions towards the team that they do not need at all. We Steelers do not need any more distractions. Okay. We don't. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is just a little uh, rant video. I had to go on by my Tavis Bryant. I had to make this video because I was... It's pissing me off. It's pissing, really pissing me off to the point where I almost say, fuck it. Go ahead and trade him. But I know that the Steelers need him. They need his, his, his deep threat. He's just 6'4 and go, get, go up and get the ball. We need you, bro. So stop acting like a little bitch and get it together. Boy, that escalated quickly. Anyway guys, like this video up, 
really appreciate that. Subscribe if you are new. And we are out. Peace. ATL, DOA, and all these bitches know me.